Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. I am here with my December journal and a review of my November journal. So let's get started first with that and I'll come back and show you my December journal. Um, so again, this is in my reusable book cover, which I created. And the theme of November was farmhouse. It was just a cozy farmhouse. November kind of is family gatherings, things like that. So I was trying to create something that had that cozy feel. And believe it or not, this denim that is on here is from an old pair of my mother's blue jeans. At 85, she still wears blue jeans. So um, those were a pair that she gave me and I thought they were perfect for this. And then I've added some Tim Holtz things and this is a picture from the kit. And on the inside, this is my November cover page. Then you'll see as we go through here that I used a variety of different things. Sometimes I put um, some of my collages in the center. This lace and all of the lace in here is from Lavish Laces. I will link her below. She sells some of the most fabulous laces. And so I did a faux denim. So that's not actually fabric, that's a, a picture of denim, actually. I do have two pockets here. In the end, I never put anything in them. However, I still might go back and do something. I'm not quite sure. Um, so yes, as you can see, I do a collage a day. I try to alternate where they go. So some are on the side, some are on the top, some are on the bottom, some are in corners. Some are in the middle. So they're in a variety of different places. And I did this little mini collage at the end because there were only 30 days in November instead of 31. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. And this may be one of my favorite covers that I've ever done for my December journal. So this is Blue Velvet. And the story behind this Blue Velvet is that my, I inherited my great-grandmother's sideboard. There was clearly a drawer that was used for silverware because it had this blue velvet on the bottom of it. But it was loose, it wasn't attached, and my husband got tired of fighting with it, so he pulled it out. He said, I'm just going to throw this away. Which, of course, being a junk journaler, I said, you can't throw that away. It's perfect for a journal. So I did put the blue velvet on the cover. I used a Tim Holtz book plate and Tim Holtz corners. This is a, a picture from this digital kit for December. Um, it's actually a winter kit, so it's winter wonderland. And then on the ends here, I went ahead and tied the knot for my five hole pamphlet stitch at the top and made it into a bow, and then I have little tiny jingle bells on it. And of course the back is has similar pieces to it. And then on the inside, this is one of the papers from my kit, from the digital kit that all of these pieces come from. And so this is my December cover page and so I deckled all the edges this time around. I was going for more of a vintage vibe, if you will. And I still used my 28 pound coffee dyed paper that's been, everything is acid neutralized. Um, Edith Holden. And I just tore these. I actually used a straight ruler and tore them. I didn't use any deckle tools, if you will. This is some antique French uh, music. And then this is an, an old, old vintage French dictionary. And in here somewhere is December. I'm not exactly sure where. It may be on the other day, uh, on, an, uh, on the, the back side. Um, again, this is my five hole pamphlet stitch, but instead of tying it in the middle this time, I tied it at the top. And the rest of this is pretty much like the other half of the book. So this will get decorated throughout the season. And again, this is an Edith Holden, but it's not from Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. It's one of her other books that she did. I didn't realize there were several of them out there. And so I have another one. And again, this is the back with the two uh, corner covers. 
So I'm going to trade out my December journal. Oh, wow. I didn't plan this, but the blue on this complements that blue. Look how pretty. Obviously, I didn't plan that. That I did this years and years ago now at this point. So, all right. We're going to simply tie this in. And then I will be ready for December. So I'm going to ask you real quick, what is maybe the, the craziest piece of junk you've used in to make or used in any of your junk journals if you are a junk journaler? Um, go ahead and comment that below. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I just think that cover is stunning. And I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of my two journals. And I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.